Hey guys, welcome back. I'm doing a little mini haul for you guys. I haven't done one of these in like forever, I feel like. So I'm going to like combine some things that I've been getting the past couple months that I haven't shown you. Or like this past month, I think. It's actually this past month that I got in separate different times. But I wanted to show you guys so I can like move on and actually use them because I've been dying. So, my first thing that I actually got, I'm not showing on here because I didn't know if you guys wanted to see it or not, but I got a few uh, things from my um, subscription, Adore Me. So if you guys want to know more about it, I'll let you guys know, but I really didn't want to um, put it what I got unless you guys wanted to see it because sometimes people do like to keep it private and some people like to show what they got. So let me know in the down below to let me know if you guys want to see it. So my next thing I got is from Target and I was actually shopping with my sister sister-in-law and I was gonna get it and she's like, oh I'm gonna get it for you. But this is a little it's a candle holder, but I'm actually gonna put it in for my brush holder set. Um, this is actually really pretty. It's just really beautiful, I think. So I'm going to love putting my brush brushes in them and, you know, have another holder because I have so many brushes that I can't even keep track of. And <sighs> so anyways, that is that. It's only, it was, oh, best part is, is beautiful and plus it was only three dollars at Target so if you guys have a Target near you go get it I actually my um, closest one is like an hour and a half away from me so I don't get a lot I don't get to go to Target a lot so yeah it's just every so often I get to go there and get to see what they have and if they have something I want or need I'll pick it up so my next one is headbands, and this is from Payless. Payless, I think, have really cute headbands if you don't want to spend a lot. This is what it looks like. If you can see, it has gold chains in the middle and then white. Um, out. It's like it wraps around, so it's really cute for the summertime. If you want to do like the lower um, look that everybody's been doing. And then this one I have is in royal blue and then that's really pretty for blue eyes in the summertime love it and then this black one just you know have so when I work out or to clean or you know what mothers do I, I'll put that on so my hair I don't know I don't ever put it halfway up anymore so if you guys like it let me know because I'm just kind of like Ugh, I don't know if I like it so my hair, I've been like thinking to chop my hair off, but if you like long hair on me, let me know. And if you guys like this blonde, let me know. Or should I go back to my red, my natural red, which is like this color. So, let me know. <laughs> or if you guys like it how it is right now, let me know. <laughs> let me know, let me know. <laughs> so, my next one, let's see. I'm going to try to get my drugstore out of the way. My next one is actually my husband, I was home and my husband came home to me and he's like, I thought of you when I saw this and he got me a back scratcher. I love back scratchers, like it's so hard for my short arms to get back where I need to. So he's like, I thought of you, would be perfect for you, to, you know, because I asked him to scratch my back and so when it's hard when he's gone at work I'm like oh I really need a scratch so he got me that and it's so so nice because you can just get back there wherever you need or like you know you know <laughs> so my next one is a foundation it's the forever long color stay and I actually used to love the love this foundation and they didn't have a pump back then when I used it. And I'm like, okay. And I found something else that I loved. Da, da 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 da. Years later, I am like, I wanted. I went back there a couple weeks ago. I'm like, well, I really wanted the L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Foundation, I believe. But I just didn't know because I didn't. 
I didn't hear a lot of reviews yet, so I'm like, okay, let's something, try something new again. Read, you know, put it in my collection. And I found this, and the best part of it is the pump. You guys can tell, that's a really nice pump. And it doesn't, like, squirt out a lot. People, like, don't like that word on YouTube, squirt. But it is. It doesn't, like, squeeze, I guess, out a lot. So you're not wasting a lot of product if you know how to use this handle. Just pump it the way it's supposed to, I guess. Um, I'm in the shade 180 Sand Beige. And this is a one ounce fluid bottle. So it's a really good size. And mine out, my wall local Walmart was $9.98 I believe so and the pro mat was like $13 or $14 at Walmart so I'm like let's save like $5 and get this and see how I like it because and I got this in the oily um, combination oily foundation shade not shade just the foundation so my next one is okay so I uh, saw a few people on um, the app Tati. It's the um, Glam Life Guru, Guru. And this woman and a few other people had this lip balm, lip crayon. And I'm like, I gotta have it. It's so pretty. And then I went and got it for $5. And when I opened it, the lip crayon fell out. So I'm like, oh no. So I stuck it back in there. I re really kind of worked it in there. And I it hasn't fallen out yet again. So, but this is a really pretty shade right here. Um, sorry if you know you see swatches right here. It's my I just got done with my Ipsy unbagging. Ugh. See, it, the lids keep on falling off. But for $5, it's actually a really pretty color, and it's matte. If you, It's the new uh, All Matte Up Hydrating Lip Stain, and it's a matte formula. And it's in Berry Matte, so it's kind of a cute name for that. But I wouldn't... It, honestly, for $5, it's really nice, but the lid keeps on coming off, so I don't know. I wouldn't like that if I'm like, keep on traveling, and it keeps on coming off and ruins my whole bag you know so that's something to look at and then my last thing from the drugstore is this Maybelline New York Eye Studio in the gel liner I honestly don't know what to do I have used this a few times and I don't know if I like it so um I actually hated the brush and how it applied on my lids so I don't know if it's the brush I'm hating or the gel liner because you I'm used to liquid so maybe that's the thing I don't know so I went on to Sephora website and I was looking at the liquid lipsticks by Kate Von D and I wanted the shade bow and arrow but they didn't have it and they're always sold out so I'm like oh so I was looking around on Sephora but just because I wanted to see what they have, what's new, what's not, what everybody's raving about, and that's, you know, what I was been doing. And then I went to Point Perks, my Point Perks, and see what I got. Had what they had, because I had a lot of points, and so I'm like, I wanted something that I really loved. So I wanted to use some of my points, but I didn't want to if I didn't have to. So I... <laughs> Um, have been wanting the Bobbi Brown under eye circle cream and I'm like Ugh. so I saw the Bobbi Brown skincare little you know samples I'm like oh my goodness I have to have it so I went back I put this in the cart so let's tell you about it it's Bobbi skincare must have so it, it's all the Bobbi Brown um, products that is like must-haves I'm guessing and so I saw that they had the under eye cream I'm like oh my goodness let's get this so I put it in the cart so this is what it looks like in here it has you know the confetti that they always have in the boxes and so this the first thing is a hydration face cream it's just you know a good size it's the 50 
0.50 ounce I think fluid ounce and so that's a really good size I love that size and then they have the hydration eye cream um, it's a little it's less size you know it's a less of a size but and this is in 0.10 so it's 0.40 minus I don't know I'm not really good at math but it's a really good size to try out just because my under eyes need hydration even though I need even though I'm oily I need hydration under there so then my next thing is the soothing clean cleansing oil and this is a good amount this is I think believe 0.50 fluid ounce so half an ounce so this is pretty good it's like half a of a foundation so this is pretty good size and then my last one I got which y'all know I have pores so this is a skin smoothing pore perfecter and I'm so excited because you got pretty good amount in there so you got let's see four products well three good sized products and then the sample size which isn't too bad I guess but for 500 points that's $500 $500 so you actually spent $500 on this if you actually really think about it so it's kind of like a ouch but you get some really good products just because Bobby Brown is so expensive when it comes down to it I wish they were a little bit cheaper but there is a reason why they're good because they take a lot of time and researching to make those good products so it's not like a drugstore which drugstore don't get me wrong is really some there are some really good products in at the drugstore but not as good as high-end skincare is like I think that a lot of times it skincare won't be good if you have drugstore like if you want really good skin like good quality skin like go get some higher end I don't know it's just sounds just go get invest in some higher end products that you can afford you know that or you can go to Sephora or Alta and get some samples I don't think Alta does samples but I only do Sephora usually when it comes to samples so anyways I got that um, point perks and then I got the <laughs> I got the Kate Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Vol Lolita. And so I was deb debating to see if I should get the, um, the first one or the second one. And I really, when it came down to it, I knew, know that um, Jaclyn Hill was raving about it. So I'm like, okay, let's do the first one. So, I'm pretty excited that I got this one because I actually tried it on. It's not as patchy as my other one that I got, so I'm pretty excited about that. Even though, I don't know, for $20, it's really good, but then there's some cons about it too. So, let me see, get a good swatch on that. It's very pigmented, like, I like that, so... But that is the color. It's a really pretty color. I'm going to let it dry and see, you know, how it turns out for you guys. So, my other one. Oh, yeah. My samples I got. So, when you go into the, on the Sephora website, you get three samples that you can pick out. And you can have them. You don't have to pay for them. So, the first, I got all three was perfumes I like to get because I like to smell good. So the first one is the Dolce Cabana Light Blue. And it's a pretty good size. This didn't have a spray on it so I'm pretty like bummed about that just because I like you know perfumes with sprays because it's a lot more convenient and easier to use instead of you know. But this is good size for a sample size. And then the next one, I can't even pronounce it, so I'm not going to even try, but if you guys can see that, 
I'll link it below but and this has it's a really actually a decent size um, I actually don't know the size of this but um, it's oh one point no wait point 0 0.06 fluid ounce so this is actually a pretty good size and it has a spray on it so like that I didn't smell that one so I don't know if it actually really smells good I don't know but the last one is the replica beach walk I think and so I don't know we'll see but that has a spray on it as well I believe this is a same size oh this is a 0 0.05 fluid ounce so a little bit less but it's a really good size plus it has a spray so pump spray thing so I really like that love that actually so I actually found my last thing that I actually got from the drugstore and this is the elf blush palette um really pretty colors i love this is the light palette there is a light and then there's a dark so i got the light one i will swatch them for you so you guys can see what i'm talking about and then this one um they are there they feel creamy but they're um a little bit uh, chalky a little bit so if you get it, that's a really bad swatch but they are a pretty for six dollars I think that's a good if you're starting off and you want um, some good blushes but not like you don't know where to start that is this is a really good you know palette just because there is four different shades and you could also, um, in the summertime, use this as like almost a, like a bronzer almost. I don't know. For light skin girls. So, and that's a really pretty color for the summer. I mean, springtime and then summertime. I think this one would be as good as springtime too. A little bit into summer too. So, but anyway, it has a big mirror. I don't want to blind you, but pretty good size yeah for six dollars I think that's a good good size amount for different products anyways um, that is what my mini haul is I was so rambling and out everywhere but and my camera shut off how many times but that is what I got I'm so excited I'm I got a few ideas if you guys like this look and you guys want to see more of it let me know and I will be so happy to do a look for you guys and um yeah my lips I did if you guys want to know comment below and I will surely tell you so and if you guys like this background with two candles in the back let me know as well because I I've been trying to like rethink think about how I want to um, do my background I've um, actually have a few ideas so I'm still sick if you guys can hear that <laughs> so I'm just kind of happy to not be sick anymore so yeah that is all I'm gonna be rambling on about so I'll see you guys later bye you guys